Pat Sully. Pour one out for Mark Emmert. <laughs> He's made us pour a lot in over the years, <laughs> drinking to try to get over his inept leadership. So, yeah, I guess now it's time to pour one out. Um, mutual decision. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Guys definitely walk away from $2.7 million <laughs> virtual no appearance jobs. Yeah. A year, a after, year after an extension. Um, yeah. yeah. They finally came from Mark Emmert. Finally tapped him on the shoulder. Of course, he gets to continue to serve in his role until a new president is selected and is in place or until June 30th, 2023. <laughs> So he's got 14 more months of putting a ski mask on every two weeks and collecting his check, <laughs> taking it down to the yeah. Indianapolis Savings Bank and laughing. Well, given the pace of how things work at the NCAA, he has, stands a great chance of finishing that tenure before his successor is hired. Well, he's going to make I mean, like $3.5 million. Yeah. They can't finish an investigation in four and a half years. How can they find a president in 14 <laughs> months? With the FBI helping. With the FBI helping. So... In fairness, this is a very hard job. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, it is. And it's not so much that you couldn't have ideas or solutions, but corralling hundreds of different schools, massive egos. I mean, no, you can't get anything done, right? Right. Even the people agreeing to have a, a bigger playoff couldn't agree to have a bigger playoff. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so I'll give them that. Hard job. Um, But you're well compensated for it. Um, but... Who, uh, who takes this job? Like, what's it? Uh, you know, I think we got, uh, you know, some lists. I mean, I don't, you know, Pete, yeah, Pete had we, a list. Pete had a Pete, list. He's claiming sources on this. Oh, come on, <laughs> he's just made this, made this stuff up. <laughs> Washington State President Kirk Schultz, Oliver Luck. He's always up for a good one. Oh yeah. Baylor President Linda Livingstone, Clemson President Jim Clements. Love Pete, but that's an establishment list, man. Well, how's the establishment done so far? Why? They're not going to go anti-establishment. Hell yes. If there's I'm ever been candidate. time. Yo. If asked, I will not serve. <laughs> Actually, I damn straight will for two, one, two point seven. Yeah, for, <laughs> for, for two seven, you'll go ahead and take some <laughs> for two oh, years hell yeah, before they man. run you out. They catch you up. Me and the me and I have a booth at the slippery noodle with my name on it. <laughs> but well, all right, here's what we have had running the NCAA. We've had a colossally in over his head university president's president who replaced another university president. Who before that we had a, you know a couple athletic directors, I think Cedric Dempsey and uh, Schultz, but. We, How's the NCAA doing? Not very well. I don't want to see more of the guy, these guys, these same people that are always on these same committees, uh, going into the leadership of that position. I think you. I think the 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 mo the sports uh, the sports model is breaking. So let's just break it all the way and start over. And that means breaking the mold on who should be the president. Now, I wish I wish I had some good names to give you. Like, like, who, I, what what does this job even entail? Like. I think it entails a couple of things. First of all, having vision. Secondly, having communication. Third, having compassion. Fourth, have, being a consensus builder. Maybe those in reverse order. I don't know. I think we need a. You need someone who's willing to grind. Yep. You need a consensus builder that 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 shows up with some measure of respect, but you got to earn that respect. Right. Okay. You can't just be like, okay, well, let's give it to Condi Rice. Everyone respects her, right? Well, that'll no, the, fall apart real quick. Until, yeah. You know, right. right. The last thing they gave to Condi Rice didn't turn out. Yeah. Good. But uh, Condi's going to be on the search committee, right? I mean, of she's course. on. Of course. Yes. Be on the search committee. But like, I think when you look at like what's going on with the, what's the committee that they're they're working on now, the transition team. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yep. Transformation right. you have, committee. You have Greg Sankey of the SEC on there and he's mm -hmm. got his, he's, he's, he's dug in. Right. When when they were trying to do the playoff, he's dug in on things, right, right, uh, or or swore, well, these guys sit there and say, "I'll hand, I'm going to handle this." When they wanted to do the playoff plan, right, yeah, right, Swarbrook, Thompson, Bowlesby, Sankey said, Sankey. "We'll handle it." Yeah, 
We're going to go get after this. We're going to meet. We're going to do it. Not, hey, we need 14 people. And do we have someone from this region of the country? And do we have this? And do we have this? Pro- where's a student athlete? And what about a non-revenue student athlete? Uh, just, just come up with a plan. Right. Now, it almost worked. Um, same thing on this. Like, someone's just got to dig in there and, and try to hold this thing together. Right. Because, and and I and to me, part of that is like, re, you know, my opinion, relax on all this other stuff. You guys are all screaming your heads off. It'll resolve itself. But yep. we have to keep the NCA together. We need the big schools and the small students together, if only to save March Madness. 